this makes me want to scream and it may make you want to scream too. So let's talk about it. I really have to just take a deep breath every time I see a fitness pro or fitness influencer even sometimes post things like 1200 calories isn't enough. Who are you feeding a toddler or 2000 calories is too much. Like how do you expect to lose weight eating that much? If I see another person post blanket advice, preaching out to you what you need to do or what you need to not do without giving you the gift of nuance, I'm gonna scream. Did you scream? Okay, well, if that type of stuff grinds your gears too, and if you believe that you deserve the gift of context, not even a gift, it should be a requirement, then stick around, this video is for you because I'm going to be addressing, is it really bad for your metabolism to eat 1200 calories a day? I'm sure you've seen this posted at least once, so we're gonna dive into that question in this video. Hello, hello, my name is Conceita Thomas. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. I'm a food and fitness strategist, and I help women over 40, just like me, lose 30 plus pounds and keep it off without excessive exercise and without diets. And a big part of that is helping them contextualize all of the advice that has floated their way out there in these internet streets and help them understand which advice to ignore and how to really just like narrow their focus on what's important for their weight loss journey and what applies to them. So that brings us to today's talk, which is all about this concept that you can just preach out to a, just to a, a vast audience of limitless people, you know, calorie counts that are either for them, too much for them, or too little for them. And specifically, I wanna talk about this idea that 1200 calories is bad for your metabolism. I wanna weigh in on this discussion and give you my thoughts. Um, and also my experience. So let's jump into it. So the answer to the question, I feel like we should be able to say this all together now. If you've watched enough of my videos, you already know what I'm gonna say. Can we say it together? Ready, one, two, three. It depends, right? The answer is it depends. Is 1200 calories bad for your metabolism? It depends and it depends on so many things that honestly, we can't just tell people how much is right for them because we have to know, or you have to know these things about yourself in order to be able to appropriately assess what is the right amount of calories for you on a daily basis. So here's the first thing you want to consider, current intake. So let's just say that you are someone who has been trying to lose weight for a while. And for whatever reason, you now find yourself eating below 1200 calories a day. Let's say you're eating about a thousand calories a day. Again, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying that this is helpful, but let's just say that that's where you are. And then you come across, you know, this advice and you're scared that, you know, you're not eating enough. You're gonna somehow damage your metabolism. So you have a knee jerk reaction and you're like, oh my gosh, if 1200 calories a day is gonna damage my metabolism, then I've gotta at least be eating 1400. So let me at least start there in order to, to improve, to avoid this damage that I'm possibly doing to myself. And so you, the next day, you know, you pull out your trusty little calorie tracker and you, you plan how you're gonna eat in order to hit this 1400 calories because someone on the internet said 1200 calories is gonna damage your metabolism. What do you think is going to happen? You're going to be in a 400, you will have increased your calories by 400 a day overnight. And should you sustain that, you are going to start to see more than likely rapid weight gain. Now, am I advocating that we should be living on 1,000 and 1,200 calories per day and that if that is indeed the case that we are eating that little and we're still struggling to lose weight that maybe there's a problem there that needs to be addressed. I'm not ignoring any of that. All of that is true. And at the same time, the right next step is not to have a knee jerk reaction and to increase calories overnight by 400 because that will create its own set of issues as well. 
So that's what I'm saying about this blanket advice, like 1200 calories is too much. Who are you feeding the toddler? Well, let's first take into consideration, how are we eating already? What is our current intake? Our current intake is going to give us a clue about how much is right, too much or too little for us. But let me move on to the next point. The next thing you wanna consider is your current activity level. How active or inactive are you? I will admit that oftentimes when I see this advice being spread on the internet, mostly on social media platforms, oftentimes well-meaning fitness influencers, gurus, professionals um, are thinking about themselves when they give this advice. And I will even see them oftentimes share something like, you know, 1200 calories, you know, that's not enough. Like this is my breakfast. My breakfast is 900 calories or this is my lunch. My lunch is 800 calories. Not considering that the person on the other end of the advice, let's say it's you, may or may not be as active, <laughs> may or may not participate in the same type of intense activities. Or let's say you do, you may not participate in them with the same frequency as the person giving giving the advice. So when you're assessing how many calories are right for you, you want to take into consideration not only what you're already eating, but what your activity level is. If you are someone who is mostly walking, um, you, you have a sedentary job, you know, many of the women that I coach over 40, they have risen the, up the ranks in their corporations or with their businesses. They're not nearly as active as they used to be in their younger days. They sit a lot um, when they're active. Maybe they walk, maybe involved in some strength training, you know, two or three times, but nothing super high intensity. If that is the case, you will not need as many calories per day as maybe someone who is doing CrossFit and running and leading a super active lifestyle or maybe has a job where they're on their feet all the time. So that's something important to take into consideration as well when you're trying to assess whether or not you're eating enough or too many calories. The third thing you want to take into consideration is your current metabolic state. And I kind of alluded to this when I was discussing point number one and given the example of someone who's maybe, you know, only eating a thousand calories and now all of a sudden they feel compelled to bump it up to 1400. The truth of the matter is, is if you are eating, you know, 800, 1000 calories per day and, you know, and you are have weight to lose or you're, you're struggling to lose weight or you're actually gaining weight then there's something already going on with your metabolic state so there's some work that needs to be done to rebuild capacity i call it capacity it's not a workout but rebuild capacity to eat higher amounts of food without gaining weight being able to eat more food while staying the same weight and while that does not include, you know, cutting your calories more and more and more, more than likely you've already done that. You've already chased things down. If that is the case for you, even still, if that is you, the answer is not to immediately and to quickly just, you know, come above some arbitrary level of consumption in order to somehow repair your metabolism. So again, your metabolism does not like wild swings in either direction so just as it would be harmful for you to continue to cut your calories lower and lower and lower to try and force a weight loss result it's also not the healthiest thing in the world to just dramatically increase your calories because oh my goodness i'm doing metabolic damage i have to quickly get above this baseline to somehow avoid doing further damage or to 